disagreement? Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Touch me and I will smear the walls with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. My opinion is the one that matters. You two keep a deck apart at all times. She can't be trusted, Shepard. She'll jeopardize the whole mission. If we survive this, you two can tear each other apart. Until then, save your hate for the Collectors. She'll survive. I'll make sure of it. Then, I'll tear you apart myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. Dealing with a few loose ends for Cerberus. We haven't had much free time lately. But I haven't forgotten our earlier discussion. I think we're crazy, but I haven't forgotten. Assuming you're still interested. Oh, I'm definitely interested. Glad to hear it. I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you in ways you... you don't expect. I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go. Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater. But what else do I know? There was only one other survivor from that place, and you killed him. It's the same thing as blowing the place up. Now I'm the only one who remembers what happened there. I want it gone. I want it all gone. It's only in my head, and when I die, it dies. Do you think you're different now? I know that place is gone. But I still kind of want to kill every person I see. No offense. I'll take what I can get with you, Jack. You did a lot, Shepard. Shit. I'm not good at this soft stuff. Just... Thanks, okay? Let's... Let's get back to work. It's still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my work. Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Shame I had to kill him. Might have made a good member of the team. Willing to get his hands dirty. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Solarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True, didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally, can still make wrong choices, bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision, executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Salarians still feel, just resolve it quickly. Explains lack of marriage, can't sustain courtship emotions. Or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tujanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Of course, Shepard. Join me. Still talking to Cole yet? Yes. It's still difficult, but he seems less angry. Will you hear my confession, Shepard? I wouldn't talk to you if I didn't want to hear what you have to say. When I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family, but I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. I guess you're lucky we came along when we did. It was an intervention by the gods. I would have died in that penthouse. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster, challenging me. I had to reach her first. You're alive because I have wounded your pride? Pride is the line between a professional and a thug. Your mission gave me purpose, a cause to die for, a chance to atone. 
I was able to speak to my son again. I can leave my body in peace. We've got a long way to go before you can rest. I know. I'm prepared for whatever comes. It's really weird to see Miranda smiling while she's working. And it's all because of you. Be gentle with her, Shepard. Shepard. Anything new? There is something I've wanted to tell you. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, I've realized how much more there is. You must have seen many things in your years of travel. As a maiden, I served as a mercenary. I fought tyrants and pirates. I experienced everything the galaxy has to offer. As a Justicar, I saw parts of Asari space few know about. I destroyed villages and saved cities. I even fought a Spectre. Why did you fight a Spectre? A Torian named Nihilus. He may have been on council business, but I witnessed him kill an unarmed civilian. Following the code, I attacked. Nihilus seemed like an honorable Turian, and a good Spectre. He may have been. However, killing unarmed civilians is wrong. How did the fight turn out? I had the advantage, but he was good. He returned fire and tried to run. We played cat and mouse in the wilderness for two weeks. It was exhilarating. Finally, he created a situation in which my only options were to let an innocent die or pursue him. The code compelled me to save the innocent, and he escaped. I admire how he adapted and used my code against me. What was being a mercenary like? I was a young, impulsive maiden who discovered her talent for combat. I reveled in it until the day my troop was hired to guard a mysterious shipment on its way to some clandestine drop-off area. I discovered the shipment was slaves, to be traded to the Collectors for advanced technology. I can't imagine you went along. I demanded that we turn around. My mates disagreed. After they were dead, I brought the ship around. The Collector craft was just arriving. They closed faster than I could flee. Fortunately, we were close to the mass relay. I got through and they did not pursue. What did you do with all the slaves? I lectured them on the virtues of strength and defending oneself. Then I distributed the armor, weapons, and credits of my dead colleagues and released the captives on the Citadel. We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group. But we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. Our lives are secondary to completing the mission. Agreed. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Tough fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. What's with all the chop, Joker? Doing my best. The wind's gusting to 500 kph. There's a second ship alongside the Reaper. It's not transmitting any IFF, but the LADAR paints its silhouette as Geth. I guess we know why the science team stopped reporting in. What just happened? The Reaper's Mass Effect fields are still active. We just passed inside their envelope. Eye of the Hurricane, huh? No one here to welcome us. That's not good. The crew is edgy. I reassure them it is mere nerves, a superstitious reaction to what this hulk represents. The corpse of a vast ancient life form. Privately, I can't deny the atmosphere. The angles of the walls seem to press down on you. I find myself clenching my teeth. Specimens A203 
3 to B016. No evidence of active nanotechnology noted. Dr. Chindana believes they would have decayed over the last 37 million years. There's not enough data to support his claim. He asserts that the truth is patently obvious. I am concerned. Chindana has been staring at the samples for hours. He says he's listening to them. Normandy to shore party. What just happened? The Reaper put up kinetic barriers. I don't think we can get through from our side. As curious as I am about the Reapers, I'd rather not be trapped inside one. The Normandy's got guns. Use them. The Normandy lacks the necessary firepower. Reaper shields are impervious to dreadnought fire. Shepard, a kinetic barrier can only be produced by a Mass Effect generator. That is true for any ship, even a Reaper. At the moment of activation, I detected a heat spike in what is likely the Rex Mass Effect core, sending the coordinates now. Be advised, this core is also maintaining the Reaper's altitude. So when we take the barriers down to escape, the wreck falls into the planet core. And that means everyone dies. Yeah, I got it. We'll make a sweep for survivors and research data. Then we'll knock this ugly piece of crap out of the sky. Be ready to pick us up. Being crushed in the heart of a brown dwarf is not on today's agenda. Aye, aye. Good hunting. You're married? You never mentioned that. Katie had anger management issues. When my brother got married, the best man tried to hit on her. She kicked him down the church steps. But what? Katie's my wife. I, I must have told you this story. No, I know my wife. I remember that day was the only time I saw her wear stockings. Yeah. The kind with seams up the back. That's what I remember, too. What the hell is this? How can we remember the same thing? This thing was screwing with him. Third day with this headache. You'd think Chandana would have let me have a few hours off. God damn! What? That thing, that just gray thing, it disappeared when I looked straight at it. It came out of the damn wall where we took off that panel. I didn't see anything. You should lie down. I'm telling you, the ship isn't dead. It knows we're inside it. Calm down. Now I'm getting a headache. Chandana said the ship was dead. We trusted him. He was right. But even a dead god can dream. A god, a real god, is a verb. Not some old man with magic powers. It's a force. It warps reality just by being there. It doesn't have to want to. It doesn't have to think about it. It just does. That's what Chandana didn't get. Not until it was too late. The, the god's mind is gone, but it still dreams. He knows now. He's tuned in on our dream. If I close my eyes, I can feel him. I can feel every one of us. We've seen these before, Shepard. Dragon's teeth, your people call them. The Geth used them on Eden Prime. See how the room is arranged? They treated this thing like some kind of altar. That doesn't seem right. No one in their right mind would want this. You heard the logs. They were seeing things, hearing things. They were being indoctrinated. How about we all take a step back from the weird alien impaling devices? I was just looking. I wasn't going to touch them. able to talk. A single Geth has no more intelligence than a Varen. This must be the IFF. Where's the Cerberus team?
Weapons ready. Hey, Shepard, grab the gas, too. Gotta be worth something. Leave it there. You know what they are. If it gets into Normandy's computers, You said it yourself. No one's ever found one intact. That's true, but I'm not sure it's worth the risk, Shepard. There's no time to debate it, Tally. Come on! Hang on, folks! Open the portside airlock. we recovered. For now, we've stored it in Edie's AI core. We need better equipment to fight the Reapers. An intact Geth would be invaluable to Cerberus' cyber weapons division. We'll have to disagree on that, ma'am. I saw enough of these things I need in Prime. Space it. Cerberus has a long-standing cash bounty for an intact Geth. I assure you, the reward is significant. I want to know why it has a piece of N7 armor strapped to its chest. Battle trophy, maybe? Would a machine care about that? No. Trophies imply emotions that AIs don't have. I doubt it's more than a convenient field repair. I've killed hundreds of these things, but I've never had a chance to talk to one. This one tried to communicate with us. Hell, it probably saved our lives. Why? Reactivating the Geth is a risk. If you do so, it should be for humanity's best interests, and not your curiosity. I still think our best interests involve an airlock. I'm not deciding one way or the other until I know what we've got here. I want to start it up. Interrogate it. If we activate it, there is no guarantee we can deactivate it again. Bullets can. That's not what I... Thank you, both of you, for your recommendations. I've made my decision. Tally's gonna freak when she hears about this. So what about this Reaper IFF? I have determined how to integrate it with our systems. However, the device is Reaper technology. Linking it with the Normandy systems poses certain risks. This IFF is the only way to get through the Omega-4 relay. Without it, we can't stop the collectors. Understood, Shepard. It may take several hours before the IFF is ready for shakedown. I will alert you as soon as it is ready. Sounds good. Until then, it's business as usual. Crew dismissed.